again we're here again and i am joyce ibaraji with my girl dio hi guys <laughs> okay i hope you are following us on all social media platforms it is movie 10 ninja on instagram threads and twitter and movie 10 on facebook yeah so what are you watching dio yeah yeah nike oh air okay. yes ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about Tell us yes, about I know. Uh, so it's a sports sports drama based on three events, and I like that it's told from the point of view of Nike because mm -hmm. Nike and uh, Nike Jordan, that brand has been around for a very long time, but nobody really knows, you know, what the, the, story. the origin story. So, uh, so it's we don't a get the Jordan story slash Nike. No, it's a Nike story. story. Yes. Oh, it has nothing to do with Michael yeah, Jordan. How they were able to get Jordan to sign with them? Okay. They were very very small company, and then. But it he, was he featured his character featured yeah we don't get to see you know the character nice. face because they don't want it to now you know take over nice. the story so i liked how they were like able to do that, that. Storytelling. yes That's, you see i always think about when it comes to stories you have to decide from which angle are you going to tell the story and mm -hmm. you have to tell it confidently yes i like that i should finish it i actually started yeah and then should. i got distracted you should finish it mm. you should finish it it's really good good great great okay so i'm watching um and just like that um, I'm a big fan of um, Sarah Jessica Parker, and yes. just like that is my kind of movie. It's it's for um, older women falling in love, finding, losing and suffering, heartbreak, and getting back on their feet, and especially sisterhood, mm -hmm. the entire idea of sisterhood and friendship. So it really resonates with me. Um, I've watched all the. I mean, it, it's it's a, it's a spin off of um, Sex, the and, Sex the and the City. City. Yes, so I, yes, I was yes. a huge fan of Sex and the City. Yeah. So when Uche Jumbo told me about <laughs> and just like that, that was the first thing I went to look for, and I truly, truly enjoyed it. It's it's something I want every woman to watch. It's a beautiful story. No, uh, I'm yet to start, but mm -hmm. yeah, the way you're talking about I, oh, it, oh, you, you you're gonna love it. You know, I like I know what you like. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> And it's time for reviews. So what do we have today? Tennis big day. It's uh, on Prime Video. Okay, so I have to confess, I haven't finished watching the movie. So I finished it. Okay, so I finished about it. it. So you plan a destination wedding. Mm -hmm. You bring your friends and then they bring their drama. Okay. Sounds nice, but yeah. did you like it? For me, I watched it to the end, yes, to see, you know, how everything gets resolved. Mm. And the drama it overtook the story a bit just a bit okay. but yeah it's what watching at least you mm. know to see how it plays out because those drama man okay well i also know it's a spin-off of some other watches done i think higher man of higher, yeah, higher man and, and higher so, woman yes i mean chili love she just keeps breaking boundaries she's she's a go-getter so yeah oh yeah so whatever no. it is that you know she it just keep getting better That's yeah i, I respect the effort she puts into you know the story work. yes story okay making. so if you have watched a, um what do you call it tennis big day let us know what you think in the comment section you can check it out on prime video prime video prime video mm -hmm. and also you can drop your comments on our facebook page or instagram or even here on youtube all right yes okay next one the perfect find Okay, so yeah, again, I started, I'm yet to finish, but I watched it because of my girl, oh, you know because of girl. my girl, we know Gabriel girl. Union, <laughs> hot 40 plus woman, she can never go wrong, but you tell us about the movie. Yeah, okay, so How Stella Got Our Groove Back was I what came to mind. I that movie, that I was Angela too. Bassett yes. and Ty Diggs, yes. and they killed that movie, they it was amazing. Did. I probably watched it like three times or four. Oh, that movie was good. Long time. Very old. Yes, so did they get it right with the perfect find? They attempted to, but not quite. It didn't hit the mark. It didn't hit the mark. Okay. It did not hit the mark. But okay. it was good though. But you know, ah, Angela Bassett. <laughs> 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 right. Okay, okay, uh, good for G for effort. I mean, E for effort. E for effort. G for good. <laughs> G for good. <laughs> so, how are you racing? Tennis, tennis big, big day. day. Uh, uh, four. Ouch. It's a four. It's a four for me. Okay. Um. Okay. I've not watched it, so I can't read. <laughs> so it's okay. It's okay. We move on. Um, what about um the perfect find? 
The perfect find. I'll give it a six. What? I mean, what? <laughs> I'll that give much? it a six. I love Gabriel too, so we are biased. <laughs> but okay. I'll give it a six. Okay, okay, that's and fine. Her co star was fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> What do you think it would take for Nollywood to break into Hollywood? But I think it's a conversation you and I can have. Yes. Um, what would it take? Why do we want to break into Hollywood? That's the first question. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, we have our audience. We have our African stories. I think we should just tell our African stories to Africans and to the world. Yes. I think the idea of trying to break into anything is not necessary. Break into Africa break into every home in Africa, break yes. into South Africa, to Namibia, just break into Africa, own the market. I, that's why I kind of like Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. He is not obsessed with Hollywood. He does his thing for his black, for the, you know, his black folks. Yes. And he built his wealth based on focusing yes. on his, his, um, his targets, you know, his niche market. Mm -hmm. We have an incredible niche market in Africa. We have stories that these people come Dude. to. Because they will pay anything to have the African stories. All of the superhero stuff. They, theirs are all just imagination. Ours, our, Afri our, our superhero stories from some go and all of that. Mm -hmm. If we start to package all of these stories, yo, that's gold. And so big, I'm not really as obsessed big, big. as, okay, somebody winning the Oscars. I really don't care. When, if we have prestigious award bodies and mm -hmm. uh, you know events in africa that's as good as you should get yes if it if it's is, if it is just african awards and it's and it's packaged properly and it's prestigious and it has integrity that's it you yes. know so breaking into this breaking into that it's just like it's just i don't know we are we are enough more than enough, enough. i enough. cannot agree they more. should come break into us Yes, yes, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's my thing. I'm not really upset. If I mean, if somebody wins, if any of my favorite actors, both male or female, win the Oscars, of course, we're going to celebrate. I'm going to pop champagne. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, I'm not here just waiting for them to win. I think we are winning and we just have to keep getting better with the storytelling. Yes. We have all the equipment now. We are doing action movies. Mm -hmm. We have the actors. <laughs> we just need to get better with the story. That's it. That's it. And then let the world come to us. Just like yes. the world is coming to Afro beats. Yes. These guys are yes. big. Oh like, my goodness. I'm with you. Like, these guys are big. So that's it. Yeah, I, I really could not agree more. I mean, exactly. our stories are rich. Yes, I'm our really stories passionate. Are deep. I'm passionate about Nollywood. Yeah. And I, it's just a blessing to be able to contribute to the industry. Mm -hmm. So I see it grow. You see people taking it to the next level as best as they can. So the time is coming where, you know, we, we are the ones that are going to come and see what we're doing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Spotlights. You guys remember Spotlight, right? So people want to know. Oh. Okay, so let's see which name you'll pick today. Uh, okay. Maurice <laughs> Hi, Maurice. <laughs> okay, so I met, first of all, I met Maurice Sam on, of course, my best friend's wedding. It's a series on, it used to be on YouTube and then it went to, I think it's Showmax or Prime Video. It's on Showmax. Showmax, okay. Mm -hmm. So it went to Showmax, my best friend's wedding. I, he The second um, season of my best friend's wedding and he was replacing the main character in season one. And you know how it is when you replace a character. Yes. You're not so sure if the person's going to kill it, but he killed it. <laughs> he so that was my first introduction to Morris, and then I met him on set on a movie I I wrote and I also featured in. So he was, I just went to him and fan. Yo, I'm a big fan, and then we just became quick friends. We're, we're friends. We we just talk. We talk all the time. You know, talk about movies. He's trying to mm -hmm. also start his, you know, his own project. So we we get to write for him. My writers, you know, get to work on me. He's a great guy. He's very humbled. He's very. I was so happy to see him on Blood Sisters because, you know, yes. you want to keep seeing your people grow. Mm -hmm. And I love that Blake, Blake character. And when you think about it, that character was the character that engaged, um, that, that was engaging the most on social media. Yeah, That was the character everyone yes. talked about. Ah, that stupid character. Because <laughs> that was the part he was supposed to play. He was supposed to play a very dumb killer <laughs> you know so and he did it well for it to carry as much engagement as mm -hmm. it did People he did talked. it well yeah so he's he's 
he's good people and I'm wishing him all the best. <laughs> Morris. <laughs> So what are we recommending this week? Mikolo. Mikolo. <laughs> oh my goodness. So last year, Ni talked about um, the fact that we don't have um, the indigenous mm -hmm. family uh, movies for yes. children to yeah, watch during the summer holiday. That's a long holiday. Mm -hmm. And he was going to do something about it. And he did something about it this year. And that is Mikolo. Oh. So he has an animation tale it's for children. So if you have young kids, you best go to the cinema yeah. and watch Mikolo. We haven't seen it yet, so we, we are will. waiting on you to we let us know will. what so, you think. Exactly. So drop your comments. Let us know what you think about Mikolo. If you have young kids, make it happen for them. All right? <laughs> make sure you support Nollywood. Watch a Nollywood movie today. Follow us on yes. all our social media platforms. It is Movie 10 Niger. On Instagram, Threads, uh -huh, Twitter, Twitter, and Facebook is Movie 10. I'll see you next Movie week. Movie 10. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>